Hi and welcome to the sixth video update for the US tour with Assemblies 23. Currently I'm in Minneapolis after spending a nice two and a half days of doing not much except for eating and sleeping and watching television so that's actually been really kind of nice. Over the last week or since the last update we uh, have done shows in Providence, Indianapolis, Chicago, Pittsburgh um, and also in Detroit. Not to forget Detroit, that was an awesome gig. Most of the gigs were pretty much awesome. Uh, great turnouts, Chicago was amazing, uh, as was New York City. Tonight we are playing in Minneapolis, and that's gonna be a really kind of special gig for me. I used to live here a little bit a while ago, uh, so, and I've got a few nice, uh, got a few friends coming in, so it'll be an awesome gig for me. Since I've been doing this tour with uh, Tom, uh, Somebody's 23, I've been meet, meeting a lot of new fans along the way and people have been asking about the history of Angel Theory so I thought I'd give you a bit of a brief rundown of uh, the history of the band. Uh, the project started in around about 2002, uh, uh, just out of a need of wanting to do uh, darker electronic music. Up to that point I've been doing a lot of sort of pop orientated stuff, some instrumental stuff, so moving into the dark electronic area was something very new for me. I put together... Um, maybe a demo of about five or six tracks and this took over a course of about a year or so just to sort of perfect the sound to where I wanted it to go. I sent out 30 demos worldwide to various record labels and uh, was signed to GUP, funny enough, in my hometown of Melbourne uh, pretty much shortly after. Uh, the first album, Fatal Condition, came out in 2004. I got to tour over in Europe that year and do some festivals like um, Infest UK and Summer Darkness in Utrecht, Holland. That was awesome uh, and from there we went over and did some shows in Germany as well. 2005 and 2006 was writing the next album Repossession and uh, that was released in March of 2006. Uh, I did uh, a small amount of shows with Assemblies 23 again on the east coast of the US, uh, just four shows, and um, that was a lot of fun and actually introduced me to uh, US audiences at that point in time. Four years later, here we are, 2010, and uh, the new album The Death of Angels is out, uh, and I'm touring obviously in the US with uh, Assemblies 23, so that's pretty awesome. So um, it's been a, it's been a good history so far, and um, I'm going to be heading home in a few weeks' time to start writing the new album, um, and that'll be good. I'm really looking forward to that. The Chicago show was a, a quite a special show, mainly because Matt, my keyboard player, who'd been playing keyboards for me up until uh, that show throughout the tour. Uh, that was his last show with us unfortunately as he was heading back to Portland uh, for other commitments like work for example. So uh, that was a kind of really special show and um, it was a great turnout and uh, it was a nice show for him to end on the tour with us. And um, here's a little bit of that show right now. So now we are in Minneapolis, as I mentioned before, and uh, this is the uh, last leg of the tour. We have about seven shows after this one to go, about a week, a week to eight, nine days left of uh, traveling and uh, performing. Uh, so once all that's over and done with, I'll uh, post another update, and then it's back to the land down under for me. Uh, if you are coming out to a show between now and then, it'll be awesome to see you. Please come up and say hi. I'll speak to you soon.